Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in to this video. We're going to be working on this hat and coat stand which was given to me by a customer and also a small toddler's high chair. Now these pieces of furniture have seen better days. They've been used in a pub that this lady used to own and she wants me to do something with them. She has given me a colour scheme and basically said you do what you think is right because I trust you and the reason for this is because I've done a few pieces for this lady before so hopefully you will enjoy the process and you will really like the transformation at the end as always thanks for watching there wasn't a great deal of hardware on this hat and coat stand just the coat hooks and some numbers for some reason. So all I'm doing here is removing these because we're replacing these for new ones. And they need to come off. Once I'd removed the stickers, there was some residual adhesive left. So all I'm using here is something called Sticky Stuff Remover. <laughs> Quite simple. Uh, I think it's the same as another brand called Goo Gone. And you just simply rub that on and it melts away the excess adhesive. The only other thing I needed to remove was the straps on the high chair and that's just simply a case of tipping it over, finding the screws and unscrewing them. I didn't think it would be that attractive to leave this warning sign as part of the final design so this had to come off too. I did try and pull it off without heating it but it just wouldn't come off. So that's just a case of using a heat gun, don't apply it too closely because you'll just melt the plastic and just warm the adhesive behind and pull it off. Again this left quite a lot of residual adhesive so back in again with this sticky stuff remover. I always tend to give each piece I work on a thorough clean. And um, this not only gets rid of all the dirt and grease, to give a better surface to paint or do whatever you're going to do with it. It also allows you to have a good look at the piece whilst you're cleaning it to check for any damage that might need repairs. I did actually find this piece that needed a repair rather than just being able to sand it out. It was all cracked and dented and there was quite a bit of wood missing. So I'm just going to put a new piece of wood in that area and it should be good as new. I 
I'm just using this piece of masking tape to make a sort of template which I will offer up against a new piece of wood so I can make sure it's the right shape and size to fit the cut that I've just done. Once the glue was dry on the edge repair, it was just a case of removing the clamps and then in with the sander to flatten off that repair with the rest of the coat stand. Once I'd done that, it was then just a case of giving both pieces a good scuff sand ready for paint. at me you get the cork. you get the cork do you want me to throw it for you you're such a pest who's a pest right, okay uh, don't try and steal it now ready go Ooh, catch Right, can I get on with this now? <laughs> Once I'd removed the dust with the white spirit, or mineral spirit, I then used this acrylic primer on both of the pieces and I decided to roll it on. The reason for this is because, I don't know whether you can tell in this video, but I've tried to clean up my workshop a little bit just for the videos. I've cleaned all the floor, I've cleaned the unit that I use at the side as a worktop, I've repainted all the walls and I wanted to save them from overspray. Yeah, it took me ages, so I am going to paint this piece, and you will see in a second I do spray the piece, but I do try and protect the walls, which you'll see in a second. As you can see there, my little furry helper is never far away. So, once I'd done the priming, I just went in with some light sanding with a fine grit sandpaper just to flatten that primer prior to painting.
This is my attempt to keep my workshop nice and clean for your viewing pleasure. And hopefully it'll work. It'll avoid getting the overspray on the walls and I've got a dust cloth on the floor. So onto the paint. I'm using a gray, which is very popular here in the UK. I'm just mixing that together now, ready to apply with my Wagner sprayer. Whilst you're watching this part, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to everyone that's donated to the channel using the buy me a coffee link in the description and the super thanks button in the comments. You're very, very generous and it is really appreciated. Thank you. The customer brief for these two pieces of furniture was very simply grey and silver. So because the coat stand didn't really have a lot of detail to it, I just needed to try and think of some way to add a little bit more interest. So I had this nice paper, which was grey with a nice silver pattern running through it. I decided to apply this to a few parts of the hat and coat stand. I'm using an acrylic varnish to protect these pieces. The main reason really is because I've used paper on one of them and I just need to protect it. Never used this brand before and the reason I'm trying it is because this is £35 for 5 litres and my other brand that I normally use is £22 for just 1 litre. And On first impressions I can't tell the difference so hopefully going forward that will save me quite a bit of money. Trying to add some silver detail to the chair was going to be a bit more challenging, but with a bit of thought, a strong pair of magnifying glasses and some masking tape, I managed to think of a plan. And in this case, I'm using a silver acrylic paint because this is a high chair after all. I would normally use a gilding wax, but yeah, this is uh, this was actually done before the top coat went on. And obviously it was then sealed in with the top coat. The results were fairly subtle and to be honest they don't show up on the camera that well but you can sort of see the sheen there on the edges of the piece and I was really pleased with the results. For the hat and coat stand I could use the silver gilding wax because it's fine it dries it dries and it doesn't come off it's just if it was on a high chair and it's getting a lot of use and a lot of wiping down it's probably not the best thing to use but on this it looked great once everything had dried there was only a couple of things left to do and one of those was to fit the new coat hooks on the stand and all I'm doing is measuring up to get a center and fitting these lovely new coat hooks. The 
There's only one thing left to do now before we finish, and that's just to reinstall the freshly cleaned straps onto the high chair. Once that's done, we're all finished. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you again. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps you to promote my channel and it'll allow me to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching.